Bobbleheads, the zenith of team promotions. Everything from players to mascots to broadcasters can be immortalized as one of these wobbling desk ornaments. Even when they look nothing like the people they're meant to represent. But with the trade season rearing its head, not even these beauties are immune to the business that is baseball. This past July, the Tigers had a Game of Thrones night scheduled with a J.D. Martinez Iron Throne bobblehead as the fan giveaway. Sadly, Martinez was moved prior to that night, so fans were issued a now very unique piece of baseball memorabilia. The Purgatory Bobblehead. Forever existing in between planes of existence, the Purgatory Bobblehead is a relic of time and space. And so on this strange occasion, it's time to induct J.D. Martinez into the defunct Bobbleheads Hall of Fame. He now joins other famous icons such as... Ryan Dempster. One of the better Harry Carey impersonators was traded from Miami to the Reds in 2002, which left the then Florida Marlins with 15,000 Ryan Dempster bobbleheads. They decided against handing them out, instead choosing to house them somewhere safe, just like the Ark of the Covenant. Victor Martinez. In 2009, the Indians sent VMart to the Red Sox in exchange for future ace Justin Masterson. The problem was, Cleveland had not one, but two promotions scheduled for VMart that season. The bobblehead happened the day after he was traded, and a chest protector backpack landed just a week later. Ouch. Hunter Pence. Back in 2012, the Phillies dealt the likable right fielder to San Francisco. He was already a Philly fan favorite at the time, so you can imagine the fan base's frustration with not just the fact that Pence would win the World Series that year, but now they had a bobblehead to forever make them wonder what could have been. But I'm sure the Philly fans handled that with grace. The defunct Bobblehead Hall of Fame is a prestige club, one that we have yet to determine if it's an honor to be a part of. Whether it is or isn't, these wobbling statues will always remain a unique piece of baseball history. No bobbles about it.